Well, praise the Lord. So good to be back with you once again. Amen. Uh, by means of this little video. And I hope and pray that uh, by the time that we're done, uh, we will have said something that will encourage you, that will be a blessing. Amen. I thought, well, tomorrow's Wednesday. Amen. Normal church service. Anyhow, I'll just wait and uh, share this then. But uh, we've kind of had a couple of weeks uh, since uh, the surgery. Amen. That uh, we didn't get to do a whole lot. So I guess I've been a little uh, anxious, excited, uh, ready to get in and, and do something. Amen. For the Lord. Amen. Appreciate the Lord for the good service we had Sunday morning. Amen. And uh, just uh, appreciate God. But if you have a Bible tonight, amen, we do desire your prayers. We know without the help of the Lord, we can't do anything. Uh, we're going to turn to Psalm chapter 73. Amen. Psalms chapter 73. And I'm going to try without my glasses here. The Bible said in verse number one, Truly God is good to Israel, even to such are of a clean heart. But as for me, my feet were almost gone. My steps had well nigh slipped. For I was envious at the foolish when I saw the prosperity of the wicked. For there are no bands in their death, but their strength is firm. They are not in trouble like other men, neither are they plagued like other men. Amen. Therefore pride compasseth them about as a chain. Violence covereth them as a garment. Amen. Verse number 16 said, When I thought to know this, I, I, it was too painful for me I, I, until I went into the sanctuary of God. I, I, for then understood I therein. I, I, Heavenly Father, most righteous God, Lord, as we come. I, I, once again tonight, Lord, in the name of Jesus, that name. I, all that's above every name, God, we realize I, I, without you we can't do anything. I, I, but Lord, I pray tonight, God, would you reach down I, I, and anoint me your servant I, I, with the Holy Ghost and with power. I, and Lord, I pray as David said, I, I let the words of my mouth, I, I, the meditation of my heart, I, I be acceptable in thy sight. I, I, oh, my Lord, my strength I, and my Redeemer. I, and Lord, will not fail to give you the praise, I, I, honor and glory, I, I, for it's in the name of Jesus, I pray tonight. I, I, amen and amen. I, I will praise the Lord. I, I, you know, I thought what a relevant scripture I, I, this is of how easy it can be I, I, for envy to get a hold of you. I, I, amen. To lose sight of that vision. I, amen. Getting it off God and getting it on the people. I, I, amen. And causing you to have a problem. I, and you know, I run into many like that from time to time. I, I, amen, that get their eyes I, I, off what the Bible says. I, I, amen, off of what God has done I, and has been doing in their life. I, and they'll say, but what about this man? I, I, amen, and here we find the writer Asaph. I, I, he said, as for me, my feet I, I were almost gone. I, I, amen, my steps had well nigh slid. I, I, amen, it had caused him I, I, to stumble. I, and for when you and I begin to look too much I, I, at other folks instead of at God, I, I, it'll cause you and I, I, I to have heartache, I, I, amen, to have problems. I, I, but friend, I want to tell you tonight I, I, that it's important I, I, that we don't allow envy I, I, to come in I, and cause us I, I, to derail along our journey. Amen. He said, for I was envious I, I, at the foolish when I saw the prosperity of the wicked. I, I, you know, from the outside of it. I, I, amen. It looked like maybe to him I, I, in the beginning I, I, that they didn't have the issues and the problems I, I, that other people had had. I, I, but friend, that's a lie of the enemy. I, I, that enemy is out there today I, I, trying to paint the grass greener I, I, on the other side. I, uh, of the fence, the boundary. Uh, uh, amen. But as we often say, the devil uh, uh, is a liar. I uh, uh, am the father of it. Uh, uh, friend, you can't allow yourself uh, uh, to get to looking at them too much. Uh, uh, friend, you can't go over what you see. Uh, uh, the Bible said that it's written uh, uh, that we walk by faith uh, and 
not by sight. I, I, amen. Envy I, I can be a very dangerous thing. I, I, amen. And so he begins to give the excuses I, of what he thought, amen, maybe their life was like. I, and he said, when I thought to know this, I, I, it was too painful for me I, I, until I, I went to the sanctuary of God. I, I, then I understood therein. I, I finally began to realize I, I, it's not like I, uh, what I think I'm seeing. I, I, amen. I, I, friend, listen, the Bible said there's pleasure I, I, in sin, I, I, but only for a little season. I, I, but amen, envy I, I, is a tool that the enemy tries to use I, I, to try to derail you. I, I, amen, to get you to run off the road. I, I, but friend, I'm telling you, we must, I, I, amen, keep our eyes on the Lord and Savior, I, I, Jesus Christ, I, I, knowing that he is the author I, I, and the finisher of our faith. Amen. The Bible said in Job 5 and 2, For wrath killeth the foolish man, ha, and envy slayeth the silly one. Ha, ha, in other words, it'll kill you spiritually, ha, ha, because it's a thing, ha, ha, amen, that the enemy will try to use, ha, ha, to try to get you to say, well, why ain't they ha, ha, going through what I'm going through? Ha, ha, but friend, you don't realize, the, ha, ha, amen, the battles, the things that they are having to face, ha, ha, amen, when it's my behind the scenes. I, I, amen. They haven't got someone to go to. I, I, when life begins to fall apart. I, I, when everything begins to fall down around them. I, I, but I'm glad for you and I today that know the Lord. I, I, that we've got a very present help I, I, in a time of trouble. I, I, amen. His name is Jesus. I, I, amen. The sweet rose of Sharon. I, I, the lily of the valley. I, I, the the pride of morning star. I, and so I want to encourage you to see that. I, I don't allow in there I, I, to slay your spiritually. I, I, amen. I'm looking at others. I, I keep your focus on the Lord. I, I, he said, look into me. I, I hold ye into the earth I, and be saved. I, I, because we are in a deceptive time. I, I, when the Bible said, beloved, believe not every spirit, I, I, but try the spirit. Ha, and see ha, ha, whether they be of God. Amen. So I believe that it's something ha, ha, that'll get down in you and cause you to stumble if you're not careful. Ha, ha, amen. Oh, Asaph was envious ha, ha, at the foolish. Ha, ha, amen. And the Bible said here in Proverbs 14 and 30, ha, amen, a sound heart is the life of the flesh, ha, ha, but envy is the rottenness ha, ha, of the bones. Ha. In other words, it'll eat at you from the inside ha, ha, by trying to put those uh, questions Ha, have that doubt in your mind. Ha, ha, knowing that whatsoever is not a faith ha, ha, is sin. Ha, and the Bible said that without faith ha, ha, it's impossible to please him. Ha, and he that cometh to God must believe ha, ha, that he is and that he is a rewarder ha, ha, of them that diligently seek him. Ha, ha, so amen. Everywhere I begin to look ha, I see how that the enemy ha, I would love to get folks right wrapped up in envy, I'm thinking, well, I, I, hey, man, I'd rather just go that direction I, or, or that way. I, I, but friend, the Bible said in Mark 8 and 36, I, I, what shall it profit a man I, I, to gain the whole world I, and lose his soul? I, I, hey, man, the Bible tells us that we should not envy I, I, the sinner. I, I, friend, the day is coming. I, I, the Bible said that the wages of sin I, are his death. I, I, but amen, aren't you glad he didn't stop there? I, I, but he went on to say, but the gift of God I, I, is eternal life I, I, through Jesus Christ our Lord. I, I, amen. I, I said, I'm grateful I, I, for a living Savior I, I, that tells me to look to him. I, I, friend, he can lighten the load. I, I, amen. But if you get to looking around you, I, I, you can be deceived I, and you can get sidetracked. I, I, on this spiritual journey this evening. 
Amen. That's why the Bible said in Proverbs 23 and 17, ha, ha, let not thine heart, amen, envy sinners, ha, ha, but be thou in the fear of the Lord ha, ha, all the day long. Ha, ha, amen. Don't get to amen. Ha, ha, looking at them and marveling at them. Ha, ha, you know, kind of reminds me there of John the Revelator ha, ha, when he saw that woman riding the beast. Ha, ha, he marveled. Ha, and the angel asked him and said, Wherefore didst thou marvel? Ha, ha, sometimes, amen, we have a tendency ha, ha, to allow ourselves ha, ha, to get, amen, ha, ha, distracted by things that are not good for us. Ha, ha, but that's why Peter said, ha, ha, I beseech you, therefore, as strangers and pilgrims, ha, ha, that you abstain ha, ha, from fleshly lust that war against the soul. Ha, I'm telling you, there's some things out there ha, ha, that'll get inside of you ha, and will write you from the inside out. Ha, ha, amen. That's why we've got to learn ha, how to cast all of our care ha, upon him. Ha, ha, knowing that he cares for us. Ha, ha, he is the author and the finisher of our faith. Ha, and brother, without him, ha, ha, we can't make it today. Amen. But see, envy. Ha, amen. It'll cause folks to do strange things. Ha, ha, you know, it was envy that caused the religious leaders of the day ha, ha, during the time of Jesus to deliver him up. Ha, I mean, the Bible even said in Matthew 27 and 18, ha, ha, he knew that for envy they had delivered him. Ha, ha, they had gotten jealous of him. Ha, and friend, we are in a time where the enemy is trying to divide ha, ha, and conquer use and jealousy. Ha, I know that every house or kingdom divided, I, I cannot stand. I, I, brother, we must get away from that and realize, I, I, amen, that we are partners together. I, I work in a man for the same kingdom, I, I, the kingdom of the Lord. I, I, I'm talking about if you're, I, I, amen, saved by the amazing grace of God, I, I standing for the truth. I, I, amen, there may be some secondary issues I, I, that we don't, you know, see everything exactly alike. I, I, but amen, if you're saved, I, I, amen, by the amazing grace of God, I, I, amen, believe that Jesus rose on the third day. I, I, friend is sitting I, I, at the right hand, amen, of I, I, the Father. I believe that I, I, we can worship together. I, I, amen, but it seems like we're in a time, I, I, amen, that the enemy I, I, and the jealousy is taken over. I, or, or folks are getting distracted. I, I've seen people in the last couple of years I, I could have never thought would have abandoned ship. I, I, amen. Give it all up, lay it all down. I, amen. Go back out into that world. I, I friend, when the world's got nothing to offer this evening. I, I, the Bible said all that's in the world I, I, is the lust of the eye, I, I, the lust of the flesh, I, I, and the pride of life. I, I friend, nothing to turn back to. I, and we're closer now to the end of our journey than we've ever been before in our life. So we need to keep pressing on and holding on to God instead of allowing envy to come in and take over. Amen. But the enemy will do that, amen, if he can. I, and friend, whenever envy is involved, I, I just like the Bible said in Acts 7 and verse 9, I, I, that the patriarchs, I, I, they were moved with envy and they sold Joseph into Egypt. I, I, but God was with him. I, I, you see, when envy will take over, I, I, amen, it'll cause you to turn I, I, on family, friends. I, I, you'll turn on your neighbor. I, I, Hey, man, that, you know, Joseph's brothers, I, I, they never understood the kind of vision I, I, that God had given him, I, and they hated him. I, I, they thought they were getting rid of him. I, I, but, friend, God was with Joseph. I, I, friend, I, I, God wants us to know, I, I, what shall we then say to these things? I, I, if God be for us, I, I, who then I, I can be against us? So envy can be a very dangerous thing. 
Amen. I've known folks over the years of my life. Amen. Ministry, if it wasn't them I, I singing or them preaching, they wouldn't come. I, I, amen. But friend, we've got to learn to I, I encourage one another. I, I, you know, just like when I was a young minister, I, I would look forward to those folks that would help us. I, amen. And get behind us and, I, I, you know, and pray for us. I, and so we've got a responsibility, whether you're behind the pulpit, I, I'll put you down in the pew. I, I friend, you can affect the outcome of that service I, I, by being a blessing. I, I, amen. By being one that would contribute your time, I, I, your prayer. I, I know even in Africa, one of the things that amazed me, I, I, many times during the crusade, I, I, we would have volunteers I, I, that would crawl under that platform I, and pray the entire service. I, I, amen. Realizing I, I, the most valuable thing I can do. I, I, amen. Is pray and bind I, I, the spirit of the enemy I, and pray for the encouragement I, and the liberty of the preaching of the word of God. I, I, but now, I, I, amen, we're in a time where everybody seems like I, has got their own idea, their own vision. I, I, and it's costing folks I, I, just like it did Asaph. Amen. But when he went into the sanctuary, he began to understand how things really were. And I'm telling you, friend, if there's ever been a time that we need to come together, amen, it's the day and age that we're living in. Ha! Ha! Amen. Because, ha! ha, friend, one can put a thousand to flight and two can put ten thousand. Ha! ha! Amen. I, I really believe that the singing, ha! ha! That we've got to learn to get this, ha! ha! Distraction of envy and jealousy, amen, out of our life. Ha! Amen. And, ha! ha be like John the Baptist and say, I must decrease. Ha! ha but, oh, he must increase. Ha! In other words, I need more of God in my life. I, and friend, if I'll get more of God in my life, I, I, everything else will begin to fall in place. I, I, for he said, seek ye first the kingdom of God I, I, and his righteousness. I, and all these other things shall be added I, I, unto you. I, I, it's not about my will, my agenda. I, I, amen. For Proverbs 14 and 12, I, I said, there is a way I, I, which seemeth right unto a man. I, I, but the end thereof are the ways of death. I, I, friend, your way won't get you anywhere. I, I, for except the Lord build the house. I, I, they labor in vain that build it. I, I, but boy, I'm glad that when we get to the sanctuary, I, I, God can give us a fresh vision. I, I, he can renew our spirit. I, and we can understand I, I, amen, just the part that we play in this thing. I, I, for God has set the members in the body I, I, as it please him. I, I believe that's what David said. I, I'd rather be a doorkeeper I, I, in the house of my God I, I, than to dwell in the tents of the wicked. I, I friend, it wasn't about his authority, his kingship. I, he said, man, if I just get there, I, I, hey, man, I'd rather be a doorkeeper. I, I, that'd be all right with me. I, as long as I see the will of God I, I've done in the situation Situation, I, I believe it'll be all right. But amen. Too many times. I, amen. We allow things to get in our life that don't belong there. How you say, oh, envy's not really that much of a serious problem, is it? I, I well, it's listed here in Romans chapter 1. I, amen. Talking about the, I, I, the people that did not like to retain God in their knowledge I, and how that God gave them over I, I, to a reprobated mind. I, he said, being filled with all unrighteousness, I, I, fornication, I, I, wickedness, I, I, maliciousness, and full of envy, I, I, murder, I, I, debate, deceit, malignity, I, and whisper. I, I, friend, it's right in there. It's listed. I, it's a very serious thing. I, I, because, see, you can look right from the outside. I, I, but if you've got envy and jealousy in your heart, I, I, it'll destroy you. I, I, amen. But it's time I, I, to lay all that down. I, I, amen. And come to God and let God renew that spirit, that right spirit within you. I, amen. So you can go on and have that liberty I, I, that you need in your life. Life. 
Uh, amen. You say, well, preacher, uh, uh, you know, that's just a couple of scriptures. What about uh, uh, Romans 13, amen, and 13? Uh, uh, that said, let us walk honestly as in the day, uh, uh, not in rioting and drunkenness, uh, uh, in chambering and wantonness, not in strife uh, and in envy. Uh, uh, friend, uh, uh, he said, we don't need to be walking in that. Uh, uh, it will hinder you. Uh, uh, the Bible said, laying aside every weight uh, uh, and the sin uh, uh, which does so easily beset us. Uh, uh, let us run with patience. Uh, uh, amen. The race that is set before us looking unto Jesus, uh, uh, who is the author uh, uh, and the finisher of our faith. I don't know why God began to deal with me about the importance of it, but I see it quite often. Amen. Quite a lot. Amen. As I said, we've all got our place. And, ha, amen. We need to learn to work where God has placed us. Ha, ha, but we should never be, amen, envious at others. Ha, ha, you know, over the years I've seen ha, ha, folks that I, I felt like got a little bitter. Ha, ha, they'd go by and they'd say, well, they've got a crowd. Ha, ha, you know, they must be compromising to get a crowd. Ha, ha, no, not necessarily. Ha, ha, amen. I still believe God can add to the church ha, ha, daily such as should be saved. Ha, and just because you've got a number doesn't mean, ha, ha, amen, that you're compromising. Ha, ha, could be just the favor of God. Ha, ha, amen. So let's ha, ha, not allow ourselves to envy the foolish. Ha, ha, envy, amen, the wicked, the sinner, ha, or our brother and sister, ha, ha, amen, on this journey. Ha, ha, but let's leave that to God. Ha, ha, amen. God will work it out ha, ha, when judgment comes. I really believe that. Amen. But so many times, amen, I see that envy coming in and saying, well, you know, so-and-so's there because, amen, you know, they they kind of, you know, breaking the rules or compromising, but that's not necessarily so. But, amen, God is wanting us to realize, ha, amen, today that, amen, if we would come to him, ha, amen, that he could, ha, ha, amen, relieve us of that envy, amen, it's taking up space, amen, in your life, ha, I know just like on the telephone or, ha, on my laptop, you know, sometimes, ha, I've got to sit down and I've got to clean out some junk files, ha, ha you know, I've got to clean out the cash, amen, and the, ha, ha, the laptop or the phone, ha, ha, sometimes, there's just junk, amen, there lingering around that's just ha, ha, taking up space and ha, ha, robbing that phone of the power ha, or that laptop of the power ha, ha, to be able to do that which it was supposed to do. Ha. And friend, when you allow in me ha, ha, to come into your life, ha, ha, amen, you're allowing it to rob, ha, ha, amen, to divide your attention ha, away from what God has called you to do. Now, the Apostle Paul got pretty bold with it. Amen. 1 Corinthians 3 and 3. He said, Are you not carnal? Are you not yet carnal? Whereof there is among you envy and strife and divisions. Are you not carnal and walk as men? Amen. Man, that, that, that was a pretty serious, amen, uh, uh, a thing that he said there. Said, Are you not yet carnal? You know, a lot of times folks say, Well, preacher, you know I'm saved, sanctified. Feel with the Holy Ghost and fire. Amen. On my way to heaven, not ashamed, the man of the Lord. But whenever you allow envy to come in, Paul's saying you're yet carnal. Because where there's envy and strife, amen, there's confusion, there's every evil work. But friend, I'm telling you about a God who wants us to lay all that down. Amen. And come to him this evening. Amen. The Bible even said, and I'm going to close with this here in just a minute. 2 Corinthians 12 and 20. He said, yet I fear, amen, for I fear yet, lest when I come I should not find you such as I would, but I should be found unto you such as you would not, ha, ha, lest there be debates, envy, ha, wrath, strife, backbiting, ha, ha, whispering, swelling, ha, and tumults. In other words, ha, ha, you know, it, it's kind of strange that we're in a society ha, ha, where folks, they want to kind of characterize sin, ha, and they say, well, you know, that's not too bad, ha, ha, but sin will take you to hell. Ha, ha, amen. You may not be out there ha, ha, doing drugs or doing things like others are doing, but if you're allowing envy, ha, ha, amen, to overtake you, ha, ha, friend, you're just just as guilty as the rest of the crowd. 
And I know that may sound harsh, but it's a work of the flesh. Galatians 5, amen, verse number 19 said, Now the works of the flesh are manifest, which are these, adultery, fornication, uncleanness, lasciviousness, idolatry, witchcraft, hatred, amen, uh, variance, emulations, wrath, or strife, seditions, heresies, ha, ha, envians, murders, drunkenness, ha, and revilings and such the like, of which I tell you before, ha, and I've told you in times past that they which do such things shall not inherit the kingdom of God. But then he tells us what we should be striving after. But he said the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, temperance against such, there is no law. So, amen, Asaph is where we started, and he, he said, as for me, my steps were almost gone. They had well nigh slipped what I consider the prosperity of the wicked. Friend, don't get so caught up in looking at others during this uh, deceitful time that we're living in, but keep your eyes on the Word of God. And keep your eyes on the Lord, and God will see you safely through. Amen. Just a little short message tonight. Amen. And I thank the Lord that, amen, we've had this opportunity. And I pray that you got something out of it. May God bless you as my prayer in Jesus' name. Have a good night.